Hi, welcome to MS Cooks, the show where we tell you what's cooking in the MSc program. I'm Joe. And I'm Ryan. And we're your hosts for this show sponsored by the MSCA that talks about what's cooking in the MSc program. Because midterms are stressful, no one else wanted to do this video with us. So we decided to interview ourselves and make Hungarian crepes using my grandma's recipe. My family is Canadian, but they all emigrated from Hungary, so I have a bit of a cultural attachment to uh, Hungarian cuisine and traditions. So let's hope that my grandma decides not to haunt me after I inevitably screw up this recipe. It is spooky season off. <laughs> the, the gift that keeps on giving, a haunting from your deceased relatives. Mm. So today, we will be talking about what to expect when you're expecting to come to the MSc program. For this recipe, you will need crushed walnuts, five eggs, a pinch of salt, butter for your pan, homogenized milk, one cup of flour, cinnamon to taste, plum butter, and finally, apricot jam. So let's get cooking. How do you want to do this? Um, the way I usually do it is um, I get a bowl, because um, we're civilized people here. And uh, then we're going to need flour, because we're going to do uh, dry ingredients, then wet ingredients. All right, so, so do tell everyone the quantity that they require as well. So uh, we're going to take our, uh, yes, that is a fork. I'm armed and ready to go. We are going to take our uh, little cup measure. Cupping, cup measure that has no handle on it, but that's okay. Um, because it's not by weight, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about packing this in, but uh, you know, baking gods of YouTube, please don't kill me. That seems like a cup. That's one cup of flour. You know, my grandma actually didn't have a measuring cup. She actually just used a teacup that she said was exactly one cup. And I I don't believe that, but you know what? All right, we next we need the eggs. Yes, so will you do uh, five eggs and you're gonna crack them because I am terrible at that. All right, so while I, while I do that, why don't you describe your first semester in a word and tell me why? My first semester in one word, it, ooh, hmm. You know what, I think the word is busy because I'm actually, uh, I did my undergrad at Ivy, so I actually started the program while I was, are you using the, f yeah, why not? What kind of wizardry? So I overlapped my undergrad with the beginning of this uh, master's program, so I actually had eight courses all at once, and I'm very glad I did it. I love this program and I love the people in it, but my God, I was busy. <laughs> what about your, well, tell, tell, tell me more about yours. Like, yeah, go ahead, put the milk in and I'll tell you about it. So for me, if I was to describe my first semester in one word, it would definitely be fast. Um, I am an international student in the IB stream from India and um, our undergrad is not as strenuous as a Canadian undergrad. So I was not expecting everything to be so intense when I came here and things went by in a flash. I think it was just yesterday that I remember seeing everyone for the first time, actually introducing myself to everyone around and uh, that was something that, that really shocked me but also taught me so much in my first semester and I really hold that close to my heart. Oh, that was a pinch of salt. That was that was this was a pinch of salt, by the way, and it didn't come out very effectively. But that is okay because salt is just for flavor, so you don't need a heck of a lot. Mhm. Mm All right. So I'm gonna go forward and whisk that. Or do you want to do it? Go I for it. I thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're more talented than I am at cooking, at least. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> All right. Um. Well. Um. What else do we need? We need cinnamon? Um, so this is everything that we're going to mix into the bowl. I'm going to whisk everything together and make sure that there's no lumps because we want to make sure that our crepes are nice and thin and smooth and tasty. Mm -hmm. that so, makes sense. Uh, you're whisking your flour. I've always learned that you scrape along the sides to make sure that there's nothing sticking on them because that's where the lumps tend to go. 
Oh. And because we are students, we don't actually have whisks, you can deal with our fork whisking, okay? <laughs> Alright, so while you're at that, I did want to give everyone an insight into how the first semester at the MSc program is. So, to begin, you, we have a beautiful orientation ceremony where we get an idea about the program itself, all the various clubs and committees that you can be a part of. And you also get introduced to the MSc Association, the body of student executives who will be representing you during your time at Ivy. And uh, for subjects, we begin with Ivy Essentials, which are the basics of business. Since our cohort has a very high percentage of students who do not come from a business background, accounting, finance, strategy, marketing, and um, all the other business basics are covered via Ivy Essentials. Uh, all the streams have their own core courses. Um, for us, it was uh, cross-cultural management and internationalization. Yeah. Try spelling that five times fast. And uh, when we began, the digital management stream did not exist. It's just come in. And it, that's right. When, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we began the program, the business analytics stream had the art of modeling. They had um, business statistics and they also had big data analytics as their core subjects. Yep. Very stressful first semester for sure. Oh, very busy. And it does give you a lot of uh, insight into how Ivy's culture is, where everybody is very diligent in the way they work. And um, it's definitely more challenging due to the case method where you have to always be prepared for class. You can't just show up. You have to, well, I mean, you can show up, but you gotta show up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That does make sense. I did learn how to show up <laughs> when, I, when I came to my first class and uh, I remember actually the first case that we do is with Professor David Wood okay. in the orientation ceremony. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Where we learn how to do cases. That's what the case is about. Yeah. Uh, because I did my undergrad at Ivy, I didn't have to go to that, but I still showed up because I am, I am, I am that kind of prepared for class. The great thing about the case method is that, uh, especially because you have to participate in class, you learn so much, not only from the case itself, but also from the different perspectives that the program gives you. So I learned so much even from Ryan when uh, in class because he contributed so much. So it's a really wonderful system because it's not strict structural, but it's also very social. And except just the learning you have in class, there's so much more you learn outside class as well. Yeah, yeah. So why don't we go on to actually cooking the crepes? Yes. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Yes. So the Hungarian name for these, by the way, is Palencinta. And please do not roast my pronunciation. I'm not that close with my roots. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but we have it all mixed. I don't know if you if they can if they can see that far. But it's nice and yellow, and it's nice and uh, relatively thin. So we, we're gonna keep stirring it just to make sure things don't settle out, but it's lump-free and it's ready to go. So let's go to the stove. Let's go to the pan. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be pouring some of the batter into our pan. Our stove is heating up. We're gonna put it on medium heat. So as we pour the thing into the pan with a ladle, we're going to swish it around in a circular motion to get it as thin as we possibly can and as large as we possibly can. But first we need some butter. So. So we've got the pan on the stove on medium heat with a fair spread of butter in it, just to make sure that nothing's gonna stick. We also wanna make sure that when we pour our batter into it, it's gonna have an even coating of butter all around it. And then we're gonna take a ladle and get a nice big scoop because we want enough to cover the whole pan so it doesn't turn out ugly. Scrape off the bottom a little bit. And we're gonna pour it in. That was a really good pour, Joe. Oh, thank you. Um, and we're just gonna swirl it around and hope that it comes out as an actual circle. Uh, that may or may not happen. I don't know. Perhaps I'm not fast enough, but whatever, it's fine. I don't hate myself at all. That, that's, that's really good. You know what? Better than what I would have done, honestly. You know, it's better than most people do on their first try. Mm -hmm. I will say that. So Joe, while that's cooking, why don't you tell me about your most favorite thing about the MSc program? Uh, my most favorite thing is definitely how diverse the cohort is. I just love having the ability to 
chat with any number of people and get any number of different perspectives. It's something that I really value uh, in my master's program because it means that my education is a little bit more enriched, but also I make some wonderful friends out of it. It's awesome. That sounds so good. Uh, does that need flipping? Oh, yes it does. It's ready. You distract. Actually, it doesn't need flipping. I think what my grandma used to do was... So, grandma used to just like roll this in the pan, but... For sure, do that because, and get you a plate. Because I am not um, an expert at this. <laughs> Plop. So, now that we've made the crepes, what comes next? So, next what we're going to do is we're going to actually assemble them. So, uh, Ryan has crushed the walnuts. I'm going to uh, show you a little bit of a secret ingredient that I learned from my other grandma. So we're gonna take the plum butter, and I've always thought that plum butter was the only ingredient, but the secret from my great-grandmother that I just learned, apricot jam cut into your plum butter makes it a little bit sweeter and makes it go a little bit further. Delicious. So we're gonna mix that first, and then we're going to put some jam inside and sprinkle walnuts and cinnamon on top. Okay. Now, I don't know what proportions this is in. Mm -hmm. This is, as all family secrets go, uh, this is total hearsay. She just said, oh, cut it with a little bit of apricot jam. So we're guessing on this front. <laughs> all right. So let's take a proportion then. So one spoon? I'm just going to do, because we need enough for both of us, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one spoon. <laughs> one spoon. <laughs> one spoon. Or, or, you know, the entire blue nose schooner. Mm -hmm. Full of, yeah, that's that's my proportion. And um, one spoon of plum butter. One so one spoon of plum butter, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, yes, a little bit like a quarter or a third of a spoon of my apricot jam. And we're just gonna mix it together and hope that it all turns out because plum butter is also really thick. Good luck to me. <laughs> Okay, but you can you going. can see the difference, right? You can see the difference in the texture already. Definitely. So, inside. Uh, walnuts. Set up a supply chain. I'm sure that <laughs> you're gonna learn that in your first semester. <laughs> Sorry. Don't remind me. <laughs> okay. So first thing you do is you put uh, a little bit, of, like a spoonful of this. So mm -hmm. that's your spoon. You can use it. All right. You're gonna scoop your spoonful and you're gonna spread it down the side middle. All right. This way. Yeah, whatever way you want. Like, preferably the longer way so you can get more materials in it. Well, too late now. Well, okay. You know what they say? Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Yes. Okay. Amazing. Incredible. And then you're gonna roll it. Now, you could put the walnuts inside, but because this is something that we have to make aesthetically, we're gonna put that on the outside. Mm -hmm. So, you're gonna roll it starting at that. So, it's actually, yeah. You want it to be like, not too, too tight, but not too loose either, because you want to make sure everything stays inside. We also don't want to be eating like a carpet, you know? There you go. Amazing, Thank beautiful, you. gorgeous. So, spoonful of walnuts. We'll also be sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon on top. Now, normally I have a shaker for this, so like, good luck, Charlie, but <laughs> I'll leave this to you, actually. All right, is that enough walnuts? It, it's to taste, so uh, if you don't like walnuts, you can also use other nuts. If you're allergic to walnuts, please don't go. Please, just save yourself. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. So yours is prettier than mine. Um, and people. now we need forks and knives to eat them. Right? And there you have it. There you have it. Crepes. So choose your words wisely because I will be judging you based on how you criticize my cooking abilities. Okay. <laughs> so good. <laughs> And there you have it, Hungarian crepes, also known as palancinta. 
Thank you for uh, letting me share a bit of my culture and my history with you guys. Uh, I had a very good time and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video and also follow us on our Facebook and Instagram which you will find in the description below. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.